welcome. The theater is a temple, and tonight we are here to worship the gods of comedy <laughs> and tragedy. Why? <laughs> tonight, I am pleased to announce a comedy. Something familiar, something peculiar, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Something appealing, something appalling, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Nothing with kings, nothing with crowns, bring on the lovers, liars and clowns. Old situations, new complications, nothing portentous or polite. Tragedy tomorrow, comedy tonight. Something familiar, something peculiar, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Something appealing, something appalling, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Tragedy tomorrow, comedy tonight. Something aesthetic. Something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Something convulsive, something repulsive. Something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Nothing with gods, nothing with fate. Weighty affairs will just have to wait. Nothing that's formal, nothing that's normal. No recitations to recite. Open up the curtain. takes place on a street in Rome, around and about these three houses. First, the house of Aronius, a befuddled old man abroad now in search of his children, stolen in infancy by pirates. Something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Something erratic, something dramatic, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Frenzy and frolic, strictly symbolic, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Second, the house of Lycus, a woman who happens to like beautiful women. That is for those of you who have absolutely no interest in pirates. Frankly, this is my favorite house. That's between us. And finally, the house of Senex, who lives here with his wife and son. Also in this house lives Pseudolus, slave to the sun. Pseudolus is probably my favorite character in the piece. A role of such important variety and nuance, and played by an actor of such let me put it this way, I play the part. Anything you ask for, comedy tonight. And these are the Proteans. Only six, yet they do the work of 30. They are difficult to recognize in the many parts they play, so watch them carefully. We have amongst us tonight a proud Roman, a pretty Roman, a Roman soldier. My God, even Roman numerals. Such talent, incredible versatility, and above all, dignity. And now, the entire company. Something familiar, something peculiar, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Something that's gaudy, something that's body, something a comedy tonight Nothing that's grim Nothing that's Greek She plays Medea later this week Stunning surprises Stunning disguises Hundreds of actors out of sight Pantaloons and tunics Cortex ends and eunuchs Funerals and chases Third tones and bases Headers Blenders Cupidity Timidity Trojan horse and a happy ending. A 
We place ourselves in your hands. The play begins. <clears throat> Slaves, we are about to start our journey. My robe, my wreath, Senate, my wife. Slaves, stop cringing and fetch the baggage. Sunex, you are master of this house and no help at all. Where are Pseudolus? Where is Asterium? Summon them. Pseudolus, Asterium! Ah, madam, you called? Yes, Asterium. And I answered, ever you're humble. Have you prepared my potions? Yes, madam. In addition to your usual potions, I've included one for tantrums and one for queasiness. Thank you, Hysterium. Slave of slaves. I live to grovel. Get off. Hero, come kiss your mother goodbye. Slaves, get the baggage and go before us, you clumsies. Yes, yes, clumsies. Senex, step away from that house of shame. Uh, I, I was just standing there saying, shame, shame, shame. Hysterium. Yes, madam? Where is Pseudolus? Where is he indeed? I've not seen him since he dressed Hero this morning. Well, tell him that while we are gone, he is to watch over Hero. He is to keep him cheerful and well-fed and far from the opposite sex. My dear, the boy has to learn sometime. And when that time comes, you shall tell him. Yes, dear. What little you know. Now, go and fetch the gift we bring my mother. Yes, dear. Hey, good morning, father. How's it going? Good to see you. <sighs> Hero, your father and I are off to visit my mother in the country, it would be a joy for you to accompany us, but alas, the sight of anyone in good health fills my mother with such rage. Oh, there I am. Do you think it will please my mother? Oh, yes, madam. The craftsmanship is superb. <laughs> and the resemblance? <sighs> Frightening. Then the time of farewell is at hand. Hysterium, slave in chief, here are my husband's final instructions. <clears throat> In your absence, the entire household is to be under your spotless care. Your word shall be absolute, your authority unquestioned. And furthermore... We are on our way. We are on our way. Farewell, beloved hero. Uh. Farewell, thoughtful hysterium. Senex, come along and carry my busts with pride. Senex! Uh. A word of advice. Never fall in love during a total eclipse. <laughs> well, to work, to work. Now that I'm completely in charge, I'm gonna be a very busy slave. Here, come away from there. You must never know what goes on inside that house. Oh, but I do know. You do? Isn't it amazing? <laughs> well, I can't stand you're talking all day. Pseudolus! Pseudolus! Now that we're alone, may I tell you, I've been feeling very strange. Either something's in the air or else a change is happening in me. I think I know the cause. I hope I know the cause. Everything I've heard, there's only one cause it can be. 
love I hear makes you sigh of Believe me, I was not parading. This is parading. I was only walking. He invited us to game with him. The matter of moments, he'd steal our money. Ah, he was using weighted dice. Pseudolus returned the money. He took nine drachmas. Nine drachmas? I only took seven. I'll give them nine. Ugh, fine. One, two, three, four. Hey, what's that over there? I'm being cheated out of money. I really don't owe. Pseudolus. Seven, eight. Nine. What happened to five and six? Oh, I was getting to them. Don't worry about it. Five, six, nine. <laughs> Come, citizens. I should be whipped gently. But I only did it for the money. I thought if I could raise enough, I could buy my freedom from you. Pseudolus, not again. You know, it's all I think about. I hate being a slave. Better a slave than a slave to love. That's easy for you to... Did you just say love? Master, who is she? Tell me, anyone I know? Well, sometimes you can see her through that window. Through that window? <laughs> a courtesan in the house of Lycus? Do you know how many drachmas a girl like that would cost? I don't care. Sulis, I would give anything for her. You would? You must really care for this girl. I like the way you said that. <laughs> Suppose someone... Someone with, with tremendous cunning and guile could, I don't know, say, arrange for her to be yours. Yes. If someone could do that, what would you give me? Everything. Everything. What is it that you own? 20 drachmas, a collection of seashells, and me. Right. I don't want your 20 drachmas or your collection of seashells. If I get you this girl, all you have to do is give me, me. Give you, you? Hello, my freedom! Pseudolus, people do not go about freeing slaves. Then be the first. Start a fashion. Okay. Then get me that girl. And if I can? You are free. I'm what? Free! Free! Oh, what a word. Oh, what a word. Say it again. Free! I have often thought, I have often dreamed how it would be. And yet 
I never thought I'd be. Once more. Free! But when you come to think of such things, a man should have the rights that all others. Can you imagine what it will be like when I am? Can you see me? As a Roman with my head unbowed, sing it good and loud, free. Like a Roman having rights and like a Roman proud, can you see me? I can see you. When writing graft and vice, sing it soft and nice, free. Well, I'll be so conscientious that I may vote twice. Can you see me? Can you see me? When I'm free to be whatever I want to be, think what wonders I'll accomplish then. When the master that I serve is me and just me, can you see me being equal with my countrymen? Can you see me being pseudolus the citizen? Can you see me being give it to me once again? As a poet writing poetry, all my verse will be free. A museum will have me pickled for posterity. Can you see me? I can see you. When a pseudolist can move, the universe shakes. But I'll never move until I'm free. Such a little word, but oh, the difference it makes. I'll be pseudolist, the founder of a family. I'll be pseudolist, the pillar of society. I'll be pseudolist, the man. If I can only be. Day. What a day! Eunice! What do you think you're doing? If I told you once, I've told you a thousand times not to fan me! Oh, you're so useless. You'll be a eunuch all of your life! But what a day! Oh, what a day! I'm going to the Senate in the morning. I'm blackmailing a senator. <laughs> Good morning, Lycus. That noise, I know it and I love it. Is that money? What do you think? How did you come about all of this? Oh, just an unexpected legacy. My uncle Simo, the noted elephant breeder, came to an untimely demise. He was crushed to death on the last day of the mating season. Just this morning I bought my freedom. Oh, congratulations. With just this much left for one last gross indulgence. Good. Yes, Lycus. I am now in the market for a lifetime companion. Tell me, have you anything in these hallowed walls which could, I don't know, say that, satisfy that of an Olympian appetite? Pseudolus, friend, citizen, I have traveled all over Rome in search of beauty. And I can say, with most modesty, that I have the finest assortment in all of Rome. Well, please show me. Of course. Eunuch, a buyer. There is merchandise for every need at the house of Marcus Lycus. All the merchandise is guaranteed at the house of Marcus Lycus. For a sense of sensuality, for an opulence thereof. They unite the house of Marcus Lycus, Marcus of Love. For your most assured approval and more than possible purchase. Behold, the fruits of my research. I present to you ten tibula, ten tibula, out of the east with the face of an idol and the arms of a willow tree.
like this. She's beautiful, but don't you have anything in the house a little bit less noisy? I have. May I present to you Panacea. To make her bit available for your purchase, I had to outfit the king of Nubia. Panacea, the face that holds a thousand promises. Lycus, isn't she a little bit too short? Definitely not. Too tall? Absolutely not. You look perfect together. Well, I mean, Lycus, how often will we find ourselves back to back in such oh, a fashion? No need to compromise. Consider the Gemini a matched pair. Either one finely assembled woman, but together an infinite number of mathematical possibilities. They're flawless. Splendid, simply splendid. But I'm a man of only limited needs. And I could not assume you would break up a pair. I couldn't, you understand. Of course. Fortunately, we have Vibrata. Vibrata, exotic as a desert bloom, wondrous as a flamingo, but light as a tigress. All I can see here is truly a sight to behold, but I don't know, something just isn't right. <gasps> I know exactly what you want. Consider Gymnasia. Gymnasia, giant stage in which a thousand dramas can be played. <laughs> Lycus, may I have a word with you, please? Oh, why, certainly. Yes? Do you want your freedom back? More than ever. Lycus, please, show me the next girl. Oh, this is the entire house. I'm sure there's one of these among you that is to your liking. Unfortunately, as of right now, I have still not found what I'm looking for. Ladies, out of the sun and into the house, I'll be back to lead you for midday prayers momentarily. Now, on you go. Let's see, let's see. Sudeless. Hmm. Sudeless, she's right there. Oh, that one. She's in a recent rival from Crete. She arrived only yesterday. She cost about 500 drachmas. 500? Wait, did you just say 500? No, no, relax. Everything's okay. What do you mean 500? 
Well, he was, she was sold to the great Milas Gloriosus, but it's a hefty sum, I'm sure, but him being a man, he had his heart set on a young lady. <gasps> Did you say she was from Crete? Yes, that's right. Oh! Well, I do hope that the captain gives her affection before, well, tragic, is it not? <laughs> Why did it have to happen so soon? Wait, what, what, is, what is tragic? The news from Crete. What news? Why should I darken your day like this? Farewell. Wait, Sonas! What? What is the news? Do you really force me to tell you? Yes! Fine. Crete has been ravaged by a great plague. The people lie dying in thousands. No! Yes. But this girl, she's healthy. She goes smiling throughout the day. Smiling? Oh, no. They say that in Crete, when they begin smiling, the end is near. No. Yes. People tell me Crete is lovely this time of year. Everyone lying around, smiling. Uh, is, it, is it contagious? Have you ever seen a plague that wasn't contagious? Oh, my other girl! You had best oh. get her out of there. Yes! Wait, yes? And then? Well, I suppose she could stay with me until the great captain comes. Oh, yes. 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 But you, you would not be. Oh, don't I... worry. I couldn't catch the plague again. I have already had it. I would digress, but oh my God. I oh, do hope she horrible. remains healthy until the captain arrives. Of course. Soon. Yes, I am to be with her. Yes, you are. Only until the captain arrives, though. <sighs> yes. Wait! Yes. I've got it! Yes. A brilliant idea! On with it! That's what we need! A brilliant idea! Oh. Well, you must find one. Philia, darling! Come out here! Ph Philia! No, this way, this way! Don't touch the pillar! Philia, there's someone I want you to meet. Philia, this is Sudalus. Sudalus, Philia. You are to stay with him until the captain arrives. It will not be long. Sudalus, a word, please. Of course. <sighs> Sudalus, you are a friend. If none of the house were to your liking, there are soon to be new arrivals. But you shall have the first pick, because Sudalus, you are a friend. And you, Lycus, a, t a lady and a procurer of the finest women. I thank you very much. <laughs> there they are, together. And that is how they must stay, together if I'm to be free. What to do, what to do? I'm going to need some help. I know, I'll go to the harbor. Then I may find a way out. I'm off. The captain, the captain, oh the captain. You must watch for him so that he does not come. Philia, please, watch this way. And you, hero, the other. Okay, everyone, good? Don't worry, nothing's going to happen. He's a virgin as well. Goodbye, I'm off, everyone. My name is Philia. Yes? I do not know your name, but you have beautiful legs. My name is Hero, and you have beautiful legs, I imagine. I would show them to you, but they are sold. Oh, I know. Along with the rest of me, I cost 500 drachmas. Is that a lot of money? Oh, yes. More than 300? Nearly twice as much. Oh, those are the two numbers that mix me up. Three and five. No, I hope that Captain doesn't expect me to do a lot of adding. You can't add? We are taught beauty and grace and no more. I cannot add or spell or anything. I have but one talent. Forgive me, hero. I 
have no memory for names. Oh, you don't need one. You don't need anything. Your love. Never been kissed before? That's the very first thing they teach us. Philia, I love you. And I love you. Pseudolus, where is that? Oh no! No, 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 no! Hysterium, this is Philia. Never mind who she is. Who is she? Where did she come from? She's from the house of Lycus. A courtesan? I am a virgin. <laughs> of course you are. Hero, this will never do. Bid farewell to this young lady so she can go about her. Business. But Pseudolus said... Pseudolus, I might have known. Hero! Master! Pseudolus? Yes? Pseudolus? Pronounced perfectly. You know, sometimes people say Pseudolus, and I hate that. Hero! Hero, go show the girl our garden right now, please. Thank you. How dare you? Arranging this thing between an innocent boy and a you-know-what? Well, Hysterium, there is something you should know about that you-know-what. What? what? That girl about whom you think the worst is my daughter. Your what? My daughter. That you girl is not your daughter. <sighs> my sister? I shall go tell his parents. I go with you. Wait. You don't want to be there when I tell them about you. It's Terium, the truth for you now. She's been sold to a great captain who comes any minute now to claim her. Oh? I go tell his parents. And now I go with you. You really don't want to be there when I tell them about you. No, Hysterium. You don't want to be there when I tell them about you. Tell them what about me? I have nothing to fear. I am a pillar of virtue. Well, Hysterium, I think it might be of interest to the family whose slave in chief, their pillar of virtue, has somehow collected Rome's most extensive and diversified collection of erotic pottery. Pseudolus! Hero! Tell me, Hysterium. Where did you ever get that flower pot with the engravement of Pseudolus Hero? <laughs> Hero, as you know, your mother and father, father have left me in charge of your innocence. However, I will allow you to remain with the girl until the arrival of her captain. Oh, Philia! Oh, stop doing that! You could hurt each other! <laughs> Ah! Master, hero, I've been, I said I needed a brilliant idea. This again, yes. I've been to the harbor and I have found one. Come, we go. Are we going somewhere? Well, you are. We must fetch our things. Come, let's get them. Where are we to go? Away. Where away? Far away. My captain. Well, there's only room for two of you. Hi, brother, sits a boat. Gently dipping its bow Trim and tidy and built to float Pretty little picture Now, put a boy on the starboard side Leaning out at the rail Next to him put a blushing bride Slim and slender and starry-eyed Down below put a tiny bed The sun gets pale, the sea gets red And off they sail on the first high tide The boat and the bed and the boy and the bride It's a pretty little picture Oh my pretty little picture How 
true pretty little picture which I stood all at all let's give to you And nuts and dates Pretty little picture Thick in a cottage Of cypress trees Seashells dotting the door Boy and bride Live a life of ease Doing nothing but what they please And every night When the stars appear There's nothing more to see Nor hear, there's just the shore Where the lovers lie The stand and the sea And the stars and the sky and the sound of a soft little satisfied sigh not go as long as the captain has a contract I must go with him that is the way of a courtesan oh Venus why do you bring us together only to part us well be brave hero for us there will never be happiness well we will just have to learn to be happy without it can you believe all this all this talk and not a word of my freedom she must go with him no, this waiting out here is torture. Why doesn't he come and take me? Oh, don't worry. In good time you will be taken, but not on the streets, inside. You will tell me when he comes? Of course. I shall have him knock on the door three times. That's two and one more? Correct. Now in, in, in. <laughs> Toodles. Yes? What's going to happen? She used to go with you. Oh, really? Yes. Hero, I'm off to the market. While you were alone with the girl, remember who you are. I've yet to begun my daily chores. Hey, you there, bird seller! What do you have in the way of a plump peahen? <sighs> Hysterium's book of potions! This is it. And my ticket to one-way freedom! <sighs> All I need now is his, his potent sleeping potion. If only I can find it. With a drop or two of that, the breath stops short, the eyes slam shut, and the body hangs limp. I shall mix a drop or two of it into a beaker of wine, give it to the girl to drink, and then show Lycus that she has died of the plague. Upon seeing that, they will go to the boat, I to the hills, and all of you to your homes. I just remembered something frightening. I cannot read. <laughs> Hero! Hero, please come out here. Please, call these pages off Oh, me. God, no, 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 no come no. on. I need you. This is imperative to our mission. Please, just call these pages off to me. Fever potion? No, not that one. Headache potion? Eh. Passion potion? Maybe later. Oh, that's a good one. Sleeping potion. That's the one we need. What are the ingredients? Tell me. The eye of eel? That's we have. The heart of a snail? That we also have. A cup, cup of mare sweat? Mare sweat? That we do not have. Why are you preparing this? Asleep, I will give the girl to you. That is why I am the preparing the potion. Oh, really? Yes. Mare sweat? Where am I to find mare sweat? Where you find it? Leave that to me. You, just go to the harbor, give a boatman some money, and tell him you sail with him today. I will find the mare sweat. Wow, this is exciting. Isn't it? Go! Where am I to find mare sweat on a balmy day like this? <laughs> Pseudolus! Pseudolus! could have taken this to the stonecutter for me. I dropped it. Now the nose has to be resharpened. Hysterium will take it for me. Take 
Take me. <laughs> Take me. What did you say? Take me. One moment. <laughs> what was that? Here on the street, if you like. I am yours. Say it. Oh, uh, you're it. mine. Then take me. Is this not what you want? It does cross my mind now and then. But you must know one thing. What's that? Though you have me, you shall never have my heart. Well, you can't have everything. <laughs> A thousand thanks, whichever one of you did this. <laughs> There's a mare sweating not two streets from here. Ah, look at him. He looks more like his father every day. Pseudolus, he is here. Oh, gods, no! <laughs> Sir, you're back! She almost broke it. You've returned! Yes. Unexpectedly! Apparently, yes. Who is she? I shall await your bidding. Yes, dear. Ever your servant. Ever my servant. Yes, sir. Your new servant. The new maid. We need someone to help out around the house. A new maid. She seems very loyal. And very thoughtful and very courteous and very efficient. Maids like me. I'm neat. I like maids. They're neat. Something no household should be without. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a working girl. Everybody ought to have a working girl to put her around the house. Everybody ought to have a Everybody maid. ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a menial. Consistently congenial and quieter than a mouse. She be delicious, tidying up the dishes and neat as a pin. Oh, oh, wouldn't she be delightful? Sweeping out, sleeping in. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a maid. Someone who you hire when you're short of help to offer you the sort of help you never get from a spouse. Up the stairway, shuttering up the windows, cluttering up the bedroom, buttering up the master, buttering all around the house. Oh, oh, wouldn't she be delicious? Tidying up the dishes and neat as a pin. Oh, oh, wouldn't she be delightful? Sweeping out, sleeping in. Everybody ought to have a Everybody maid. Everybody ought to have a maid. Someone who, in fetching you, your slipper will be winsome as a whip or will, and, and graceful as, as a grouse. Fluttering up the stairway, shuttering up the windows, cluttering up the bedroom, buttering up the master, <laughs> puttering all around the house. I know how busy you are. Therefore, it is up to me to show her the intricacies of housework. <laughs> we shall start in my room. No, sir, your son is in there. Oh. Oh. Well, before my dear friend and neighbor Erroneus went abroad in search of his children stolen in infancy by pirates, he asked me to look into his house from time to time. Now seems as good a time as ever. Tell the girl to meet me in here. Sir, wait. Yes? I fear that on your, your long journey here, the great physical exertion, well, I don't know, it may have just... <coughs> <coughs> oh my God, is that me? Yes, sir. I smell like an overheated horse. I shall have to bathe. At least. Why did I ever let her in that house? I should never have listened to you. Oh, everything's going to be fine, pussycat. Oh, you. You just see that she gets out of that house. And you just make sure that he stays in this house. Keep calm. Calm? Calm? Mustn't be excited. Calm. Calm. 
I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm perfectly calm, I'm utterly under control. I haven't to worry where others would hurry, I stroll. I'm cool, a gibbering fool is something I never become. When thunder is rumbling and others are crumbling, I hum. I must think calm, comforting things, butterfly wings, emerald rings, or a murmuring brook, murmuring, 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 look, I'm calm. Confuse me or phase me. Oh, excuse me. I'm calm. Oh, so calm. Oh, so. At last. Bring up the baggage, fix the rest from the harbor. Harbor, 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 harbor. Ah, home at last. After years of searching for my children, stolen in infancy by pirates. How good it is to see these streets once more, these tired old eyes filled with tears at the sight of how uh, young woman, young, come, 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 come here, come, come here, come, come here. Your hair is so soft and it's so, so long too. And your skin is so smooth, you know, you remind me of what my daughter would be like if she were not stolen in infancy by pirates. <laughs> Very well, I must be off now. Sir! And, and who are you? <laughs> Hysterium, sir. Servant to Senex. Ah, yes, I should have known you anywhere. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody what was that? Uh, what was what? Girl. That eerie sound. Eerie? Eerie as if haunted. Eerie as if haunted. Sir, what I'm about to tell you is eerie. Your house, your house is haunted. Impossible. My house haunted, you say. Strange. But true. Perhaps you ought to stay with relatives. Distant relatives. Yes. No! Fetch me a soothsayer. A soothsayer? I must have him cleanse my house immediately. <laughs> Who is that? You are in need of a soothsayer. How did you know? I'd be a fine soothsayer if I didn't. There is a spirit Quiet! In I am saying the soothe. Ooh, ewa, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. I see it. I see it all. You have been uh, abroad now uh, for, for 20 years. Yes. Um, in search of uh, children, children. Yes. Two of them, two yes. children. Uh, a fine, fine, young, strong lad. Yes. And, and an oddly strange boy. No, 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 a beautiful girl. Yes. A beautiful young yes. girl. Yes, can you find them for me? Certainly I can find them for you. Each of them wears a ring on which is engraven a gaggle of geese. A gaggle of what? A gaggle of geese. There are only two like it in the world, and my children wear them. How many geese in a gaggle? At least seven. Seven! Then before I say the soothe again, you are to walk seven times around the seven hills of Rome. Seven times. Slowly. Seven times around the seven hills. Bring it all back to the harbor. Back to the harbor. My house is haunted. Oh, my God.
and the spirit. It shall be gone by the time you have done my bidding. Thank you. To the hills. To the hills. Hysterium. Yes, sir. Prepare my bath. Yes, sir. Pseudolus. That little maid. You know what the first thing she said to me was? What, sir? Take me. And you shall, sir. Oh, I'll try. Yes, Remember, sir. Remember, Hysterium, not too hot and not too cold. Philia! Philia! Hero? Father, where's mother? Where? Oh. Right. I have returned without her. Pressing business. Lovely new maid. New maid? Pseudolus told me about it. Oh. Why did he look at her that way? Why did he look at her that way? Must be my imagination. She's a lovely blooming flower. He's just a sprout. Impossible. She's a lovely blooming flower. He's all worn out. Impossible. Just a fledgling in the nest. Just a man needs a rest. He's a beamish boy at best. Poor old fellow. He's a child and loves a test. He's too young to pass. Impassable. He is asthma, gout, a wife, lumbago, and gas, irascible, rotting in the nursery. He looks tired, son, sit on your father's knee. Father, you can lean on me. He's a strapping lad of 20, I'm 39, it's possible. All the men know so much more. In a way, I'm 44. Next to him, I'll see my boy. All right, 50. Then again, he is my father, I ought to trust. Impossible. Then again, with love at my age, sometimes it's just impossible. With a girl, I knew at ease. I don't feel well. Sir, about those birds and bees. Son, a glass of water, please. The situation's fraught. Fraughter than I thought. With horrible. It grieves me to see a boy of your age skulking around the house. Pseudolus! I want you to take Hero to the baths. Yes. Sir! Sir, allow me to finish a brew Master Hero asked me to prepare. Master Hero, I will meet you by the baths of Aqua Salinas. You know where that is? It's by the harbor, and I will have a surprise for you. Oh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Farewell, Father. Well, he to his bath and I to mine. Farewell, Pseudolus. Just the way you like it, sir. Thank you, Hysterium. Oh, one more thing. I shall need my finest garb. You know the one. Sir, it needs taking in. Well, take it in and bring it out again. <laughs> the girl, I want to know the words. How is she? She's low. Still smiling? <laughs> Laughing. <laughs> But like us, there is hope. I have prepared a plague potion. With time, and maybe a little bit of luck, she will survive. What are you standing here? Go give it to her! I go give it to her! Over! 
of Marcus Lycus. A foot soldier of Captain Miller's Gloriosis. Smartly said. I know. He is but half a league away. Prepare to greet him. Oh, one more thing. Uh, you'll see his blue. Don't say anything about it. He's very sensitive. Half a league! We only have moments! I'll give you the potion! Yes! yes. Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. wait! Don't leave me. Why not? <laughs> I know he's coming! I know! I'll give her the potion! You go get him! Talk to him! No! No! Lycus! You cannot give her the potion! Why not? He'll catch the plague! Oh! I don't want the plague! I have to give her the potion! I go! Yes. Wait, 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 wait! What wait. is it? He's in the house of cynics! Well, does he know what your house looks like? No! This! This is your house right now! Will he believe it? Get the girls! Good! Good! I go give them the potion! And I'll get the potion! Yes! Wait! 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 wait what wait. is it? I forgot. Lycus! We mustn't lose our heads! Yes! Yes! Well, we shouldn't lose heads! We must remain calm! Yes! Wait! wait. No! So, Liz, you must speak to the captain. I have no talent for bravery! You grant me permission to represent you? Completely! Wonderful! Get in the house! So, Get Liz, the girls! You are a friend until death! Thank you, thank you, thank Just you! Just go! Yes! Wait, 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 wait! No! Who is it that seeks the house of Marcus Lycus? Foot soldiers of Captain Milis Gloriosis. He is but a quarter of a league away and bids you honor this. <sighs> ah, yes, of course. You know what this is? <laughs> this is writing. It is your contract with the captain. And a pretty piece of work it is. Tell me, what does this word say right here? Ah, great. Then you know whom you are speaking to. Yes, sir. And you see what it says there? It says words. And these are words that I intend to stand behind. Or my name is not Marcus Lycus. Pseudolus? Pseudolus Marcus Lycus. A moment with my eunuch, sir. Eunuch, come here. Ow. How dare you call me that? Well, they know it's not true, and I know that it isn't true, so what does it matter? Those soldiers, have they come for the girl? I'll go right in and get no, her. No, Hysterium, they have not come for the girl. They have come for me. What? Yes, many years ago, I deserted the army. When I had joined the army, I wanted to be an archer, but they made me a slinger. Then, one day at the height of battle, I arched when I should have slung. I had no choice but to flee. And now they have come for you. Oh, Pseudolus! Shh! They do not know that I am Pseudolus. I have told them I am Lycus. And Lycus you are. Rely on me. I must. Hysterium, wait. More horrible news. I hope it's good. It's absolutely terrible. The girl refuses to go with her captain. You must give her the sleeping potion that I have prepared. Give a drop or two and a beaker of wine, and upon hearing me present the bride, you come out with her in your arms. Trust me, Su Trust me, Lycus. I must. I go, Lycus. Yes. Farewell, Lycus. Farewell, eunuch. Bid your captain come. His bride awaits him. <laughs> Girls, hurry! Yes, yes, eunuch! Oh, eunuch, get the girls! Oh, we shall place them informally. Give the place a friendly look. Hurry. Hold this. Hurry. All right, all right. Let's position ourselves here. You right here, and you a little bit forward, and you just where you are. That's about perfect. You a little bit to the left. There's so much of you here. Where did you buy this? Never mind. I don't really care. All right. <laughs> Ladies, you are about to greet a captain. Please, remember who you are. Please, strike up some vocational poses. First time around. <laughs> Finally! <gasps> Absolutely perfect. I want a mosaic of this scene. An entire wall made out of... The captain! The captain! Again! My heart! Goes. In, in, in! Stand aside, everyone! 
one, I take large steps. We not only fought, but we won too. There's none of the enemy left, right? Out! Hell, Miles Gloriosis! And you are? Marcus Lycus, great captain. I'm dazzled by her incredibly muscular presence. My god! Everyone is. I know she is. Sir! Welcome to my great house. Your bride awaits you. My bride? My bride, my bride, I've come to claim my bride. Come tenderly to crush her against my side. Let haste be made, I cannot be delayed. There are lands to conquer, cities to loot, and people to degrade. Not to mention the rest, even I am impressed. My bride, my bride, in for my lucky bride. The fabled arms of Miles are open wide. Make haste, make haste, I have no time to waste. There are shrines I should be sacking, ribs I should be cracking, eyes to gouge and booty to divide. Bring me my bride. moment, Captain. Eunuch, come here! Come on! What has happened? Where's the girl? Nothing. She won't drink. What do you mean she won't drink? She says on Crete her religion forbids it. Of course he had to go and fall in love with a religious Cretan. I'll get her to drink. Captain, Captain! The girl, she primps and preens. She wishes to be worthy of so illustrious a warrior. I shall return with her. Understandable. I am a legend in my own time. Men, close ranks. Stand tall, like us. Where is my bride? Like us? <laughs> sir, sir. Has the girl not emerged from this door? No, what are you saying, man? Oh, God. The virgin has escaped! Oh no! Oh, a beautiful virgin, the one I bargained for! How dare you! Sir, on the bright side, at least you don't need to pay the 500 drachmas. I already paid the 500 drachmas through my agents. Or has the money escaped too? <laughs> Sir, there appears to have been a tiny misunderstanding, just a small one. I was only acting on behalf of a friend. Excuse me for one minute. What? Like us! Get out here! I Get don't out like here, you liar! Come on! <laughs> Please, tell the great captain who I am, Lycus. What? Everyone knows that you are Lycus. What? I'm not of Lycus. Of course, he is Lycus. No, no, I'm not Lycus. Look within you. See the truth. I am not Lycus. <laughs> Sir, look within you. You will find nothing but hunted men here. A holy order. An ancient brotherhood of, of lepers. Oh, what calling? That's, that's disgusting. Right? What's lepers. Away. You lepers. liar. Unclean. Unclean. Bless you, Marcus Lycus. Get Bless out you. of here, you what? disgust me. What? What now, Lycus? I don't know what. I shall tell you what. With axe and with pike, me and my soldiers shall raise this house to the ground! No! What? Our beautiful no. house! Oh, no. And you shall receive maximum punishment. Death. No! What? Death! Sir, before I die, a word? A word? Yes, only one. What is it? Intermission. <laughs> Welcome again, Playgoers!
Powers. You are about to witness the second half of our play. Permit me to remind you where we were when last you saw us. Philia was waiting here in the house for the captain to claim her. She has refused to drink the potion on religious grounds. Lycus searches the city looking for Philia, while Hero is at the baths where he sits and soaks. His mother is on her way to the country to visit her mother. A hundred and four years old and not a single organ in working condition. The courtesans, Miles Gloriosus and his mighty warriors, Hysterium and Pseudolus are all here. And I, Senex, am waiting in my neighbor's house, hopefully about to sow my last oats, if memory serves. Let the play begin! Men gag him! No, 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 no! no, no, no. <laughs> and now I rid Rome of a rascal. Sir, no! You cannot kill me! By killing me, you miss out on a face so fair, a heart so pure, and a body so undulating! Go on! <laughs> the girl is magnificence personified. If you had been born a woman, you would be as she. As magnificent as this? Absolutely, sir! You must spare me! Men, let him go. You are sure you can find the girl? Of course, sir, I can find her. I will prepare a list of 10 or 20 places with where you may search for her, though. You mean where you might search for her? What, me search for her with this bad leg? With that bad leg. <laughs> yes, sir, with this bad leg. It should do it well. But where will you be? Where will I deliver the girl? I shall be waiting here in your home. No! No? What do you mean, no? Uh, I meant yes. It just came out, no. <laughs> and to assure your return, men, you are to go with him. <gasps> Sir, before I leave, a moment with my eunuch. Be brief. Eunuch, come here! Let's go! What is it now? Hysterium, I need you to do me a favor. Take the girl and uh, put her up on the balcony. Why? Why not? Go! You are not to let him out of your sight. <gasps> Sir, my eunuch is within now, preparing the house for so illustrious a visitor. Perfect! I have been put off enough for one day. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Second time around! Finally! Like us? Yes, sir. Ready? Ready! Sir, all is ready. There is food and drink within. And the girls, they will sing and dance for you. Get in the house, go! Come on, come on, come on. Stop flirting with the soldiers, they don't want you. They're all ugly anyway, it doesn't make a difference. You have but one hour. Men, you are to hound his every step. <gasps> Hysterium! Yes, sir? Tell the maid I am almost ready. Sir, I must say this to you. Abandon this mad adventure. Think of your wife on the way to the country. That hysterium is the country's problem. Yes, sir. Hysterium, you do know that potion you prepare that fills one with such passion they can almost perform miracles. <laughs> yes, sir. We have some left over from your last anniversary. Bring it to me now, slave in chief. <laughs> slave in chief? I wonder how many slaves and chief have a master in the tub, a house full of courtesans, and a virgin on the balcony! <laughs> Just leave me alone already! Jesus! Oh! 
Just one hour. That's all I would have needed. Giving her the potion was the perfect plan. It still is the perfect plan. God, if only I had a body. A body. A body. That's it. That's what I need. A body. Gusto. Gusto the body snatcher. He still owes me a favor. Since sending my husband back to Rome, I have been haunted by the premonition that he is up to something low. Hysterium! Coming, mast Mistress, you're home! <laughs> oh. I was parched with thirst, ever thoughtful. Hysterium. No! It's a potion. What sort of potion? Uh, to make you thirsty, and you're already thirsty, so you don't need it. Oh, well. Thirst is the lesser of my problems. Hysterium, on the best of intuition, I believe my husband is... Owling the nest. No, never. Never. Old friend and confidant, you are talking to a woman who faces facts. <laughs> With someone young and fair, disporting in every shameless whim. Just wait till I get my hands on people. Where can he be? Profaning our vows for all to see Complaining how he's misunderstood Abusing me if he only would Oh, love, sweet love You vermin, you worm, you villain Come face your pride Wherever he is, I know he's still a Must I be surrounded by fawning admirers? That is not my husband's voice. Hysterium, tell me who is in my house. Uh, I think it's a captain. A captain? Yes. Uh, he thinks... Uh, he, I hope you do not object to my offering him your hospitality. Object? When I myself am the daughter of a Roman general. Hysterium, I must meet him. No, you wouldn't like him. He's very vulgar. Oh, all soldiers are in a grand sort of way. Interminable! Eunuch, bring me more food and drink. You see? Oh, Captain, I was just coming in to give you a proper welcome. You are of this house? For years and years. Ah, uh, you know, General, I was, um, the daughter of General Magnus. Oh. On the last anniversary of his death, bless him. I entertained over 200 officers. 200? By yourself? Oh, well, of course not. Hysterium here was a big help. Good golly! <laughs> well, my for business brings me to the forum, but when I return, I shall bend over backwards to please you. That will not be necessary. Please! Well, Hysterium, I do wish I could chat on with him, but 
I must find out why my husband was so anxious to return to Rome. When next you see me, I shall be in some form of disguise. If you recognize me, not a word. Until later, Captain. <laughs> oh, Sublis, busy as ever. Yes, madam. She's back! Yes! What has happened? What hasn't happened? All right, what hasn't happened? She hasn't found out anything, has she? No. Good. But she will and she'll kill me. No, she won't. No, she won't. I'll kill myself. I can do it painlessly. If she does it, it will hurt. I must do it. I have besmirched the honor of my family. My father will turn in his grave. Hysterium, your father's alive. And this will kill him. Are you done? I have some really shocking news. What? You know Gusto the Body Snatcher? He died this morning. No, I saw him only yesterday. When is he to be buried? They don't know. Somebody snatched the body. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a shame? <laughs> Why are we crying over a dead body snatcher? He could have helped us. He owed me a favor. He could have given us a body. A body? Yes, a body. Hysterium, do you wish everything were the way it was when we woke up this morning? In a minute. That's all it will take. Come, quickly, in here. In here? Yes, in here. Where'd you get the money? Mmm. <laughs> Something smells divine. And it's me. I just took the most luxurious bath. Spectators, my one wish is for me to be able to walk among you so each and every one may get a good whiff. Philia! Oh, mustn't shout. I have to save every bit of energy. Philia! Yes, Master? Oh, no need to dust up there. Come. Join me in this house. I am yours. Yes, dear, but not on the balcony. Come, join me in here. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, where is he? If he does not bring me my bride, he shall see me at the high height. Oh, oh, mommy. Philia! In time to say farewell. Did not Sudalus give you a beaker of wine? My religion forbids the drinking of wine. Oh no. Oh yes. Philia! The captain, I must go to him. I hate him. So do I, and I have a way to make him suffer. Let the captain wed me and woo me. I shall play my part. has come. Where is he? In there. No, no, he wasn't there. He had to go to the Senate for an unexpected ovation. Wait, really? Yes, of course. Does he still want me to wait on the balcony? Yes, yes, he does. Leave me alone. Oh, 
No, no, not on the balcony. Uh, in the garden. In the garden? Yes, yes, in the garden. Behind that large clump of myrrh. Oh, Hero, if only you could buy me from the captain. Wait a minute. If Hero has the, comp the captain's contract, you will go with him? It is settled then. Into the garden. Go, go, go. I should have spent more time in the wrestling arena. <laughs> Hysterium, come on out here! You didn't tell me I'd have to be a girl! A dead girl! The captain will see you go on his way and all will be well! He'll never believe it! Hysterium, please, we must convince the captain! That I'm a beautiful dead girl? Yes! Oh, he'll never believe it! Yes, he will! Hysterium, just go lie down on this bench! He'll never believe I'm a girl. Look at me. Just look at me. Frankly, I can't take my eyes off of you. You're lovely. he puts in my eyes, I keep. That's fair enough. Over. <laughs> Over. Gentlemen, I have been looking everywhere for you. Here is your captain's bride. Dead. Dead. Give her some air. Stand back. Stand back. One of you must break the sad news to your captain. She sort of just rolled over and... Oh, spare me! 
I cannot control my tears. I must cry. <laughs> But you should trouble yourself no longer. Allow me to dispose of the body. Goo! I will not leave without the proper comfort of a funeral. Sir, with all due respect, do you have time for that? I mean, isn't there a war you should be attending to somewhere? Silence! I insist on conducting a funeral. We need mourners. We have them. Oh. Support him! Support him! <laughs> the poor girl to have died without having experienced me! <laughs> Sir, the morals will be here presently. In the meantime, may I offer you a delicious snack from our fine kitchen? Maybe a cheese danish? Maybe a candy? What would you like? No, thank you. Oh, her bridal bower becomes a burial bear of bitter bereavement. Oh, oh, really good. Yeah. Poetry. Oh! <laughs> wow. Very good, sir. But can you say, Titus the tailor told ten tall tales to Titania the titmouse? <laughs> Do not try and cheer me. I am inconsolable. <laughs> the poor girl. Maidens of sorrow. I did my best. <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> the great captain's pride. <laughs> there is something that I must say. She must be burned! <laughs> burned? Sir! Sir, with all due respect, we cannot afford to anger the gods. We just, they don't want to send up a charred virgin. I cannot afford to anger the gods. Who can? Men, bring me my contract. Contract. And so, I give her to the gods. Lay her to rest then, and I shall go on my melancholy way. <laughs> Wait! A farewell kiss. Of course, Captain. Not from you. Gross. Take this. Rude. Wait, sir, no, you cannot! Why not? You could become very ill. The truth is, she died from an illness contracted on Crete. What illness? The plague! <laughs> no, the plague! No. It's the plague! No. no, it's the plague! Run for your lives! What are you doing sitting there? Get up, run! Get out! Silence! Silence! What? There is no plague. What do you mean there's no plague? I have returned this day from Crete, and there is no plague. Well, then what was everyone yelling about? Achoo! Good golly! This girl is alive! And she's gonna stay that way! Man, seize her! I cannot get my sword unbuckled! I'll get her, don't worry! Wait! You don't have to be afraid of me. Come, sit! <laughs> now, my slave has prepared us a little feast. I want you to serve it to me in there. Do you understand? Go then. Ooh. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a working girl. He said he wanted to meet me later to 
tonight. He dies! <laughs> this way, man! I have found her! Oh, hello there! If it's a pretty face, he wants. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> My virgin! Sir, I am not anybody's virgin! Oh, you made that perfectly clear the last time we spoke! Shame! The cause of it all! Ah! <laughs> you again? Ha! <laughs> I'm trying to get out of these clothes! No, no, my dear. Wrong house. Ah! <laughs> Leave me alone! You're so beautiful when you're angry! Philia! Philia! Second time around! Ooh. Oh, it's lost! This is what you must do! He dies! Guys, it worked! I finally got my sword! Good call, he's the leper! Run! Queen, follow I'm me! Queen, Run! Queen. I know you're up here somewhere, my darling! Belia! Belia! I thought I heard somebody call my name. <laughs> Oh, thank wait, you. I'm wait, quite wait. Right. What is it? My dear. 
dear one, my sweet. Come here. Just Why come. do older men find me so attractive? Come, 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 come. come. You are my daughter. You're what? You wear the ring with the gaggle of geese. I am not your daughter. There she is. Yes. My virgin. <laughs> I am not a virgin. Those filthy pirates. And I am not Hold your back. daughter. Hold I am back. nothing. I am nothing but an Etruscan dancer. <laughs> oh, dancing with impatience, my dear. Who is it that speaks so boldly to my virgin? Your what? She is my maid. She is my daughter. Shut up, what? old man. Please stop! stop. stop. Oh, How that hurts! Let like, go! Please! <laughs> you are not my virgin! Of course not. I am this old man's baby daughter. Is there him? The eunuch? My daughter is a eunuch? Man sees him! <laughs> Senex. Oh, not you again. Sir, you are addressing my wife. Oh, you are married to that? <laughs> yes, oh. I am married to that. Now I will kindly thank you to release my slave and remove yourself from in front of my house. Your house? This is the house of Lycus. This is no, my it's, house. It's, 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 it's my house. It's, it's my, my quiet. house. Quiet! I declare this area under martial law. Ha ha. Martial law. Sir, release that man. Release that man. You. Oh, oh, oh. Sir, this slithering, bumbling idiot is responsible for none of this. It is I and only I who have caused you all this grief. Man, unseize him and seize him. Come on, that's me. Not that again. And now, death by evisceration. Oh, Zootalus! Again? Uh, Sir, as a doomed man, I assume I have one final request. Yes. I wish to take my own life. <laughs> Sir, I have seen kings with less courage than you. So have I. Hysterium fetch me the potion. You know which one. The potion? Yes. You disgust me. How dare you. Stop that. Give the hemlock to Socrates. Which one of you is Socrates? Ah, just leave it alone, leave it alone. You? Ah, shut up. I go to charge seas uncharted. To the harbor, to the harbor, from which no mariner returns. Farewell, cruel world. <laughs> What are you doing? Stop that. Master. Then falls Pseudolus. Stop that! Great Miles Gloriosus, I cannot reveal to you my true identity until I could deliver what I promise. Sir, allow me to explain. I am Marcus Lycus. Oh. Philia, go to the man who bought you. Oh no. Aren't uh, you quiet. The... We're under martial law. Philia, sweetie, this is the captain. Captain, your virgin. And well worth waiting for. Out of the joy of the occasion, I grant forgiveness. You, sir, are free to go. Free to be a slave? I do not understand it. There was a ring. A ring with the gaggle of geese. What did you say, old man? The ring with the gaggle of geese. Hmm. The ring. <gasps> father? Is that truly you? Aww. You've, you've grown. Oh, father. <gasps> Are these many geese in a gaggle? How long have you had this since? I've had this since. I don't know when I've had this since. My 
my daughter. M my oh. sister? Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Soodalus, did you hear that? <laughs> Old man, are you sure that your daughter is freeborn? Without a doubt. Like this. Huh? You know the punishment for the enslavement of a free man? Trampling to death by a water buffalo in heat. Seize him? Careful! I'm a bleeder! Lycus, bring out the girls! I told you this was to be a comedy. Yes! Aha! Mother and father, I wish to marry. Son, if you would only be as happy as your mother and I, my heart bleeds for you. Tonight, I get the twins, they get the best. 